During the initial unloading process, casing and tubing pressure gradients in the static loaded condition are equal. All gas lift valves are in the open position from the weight of the hydrostatic fluid in the tubing and casing annulus. As gas is injected down the casing annulus, it displaces the kill fluid through the opened gas lift valves into the tubing string and to the separator or storage tank. As the lift gas continues to displace and unload the fluid in the annulus, the pressure on the casing will continue to increase, maximizing the artificial lift capability. When the annulus fluid is unloaded to the first valve depth, the casing pressure will have reached its designed kickoff pressure, in this case 800 psi. This pressure is sufficient to lower the casing fluid below the first mandrel and allow gas injection into the top valve. This injected gas causes a lighter gradient in the tubing, allowing the well to unload the kill fluid entering the tubing string from the lower valves as the well continues to unload. Once the annular fluid is displaced to the second valve depth, injection gas begins entering the tubing from the second valve. The combined injection of both the first and second valves exceeds the throughput of the surface input choke, resulting in a casing pressure decline. This decline causes the top valve to close. Injection continues from the second valve as the well continues to unload, lifting both the displaced kill fluid and produced well fluids. Note that as the well is unloaded to the second valve, the pressure at the bottom of the tubing is less than the static bottom hole pressure of the reservoir. This differential, known as drawdown, causes reservoir fluids to flow into the well bore. The same process is repeated every time the fluid in the casing is unloaded down below an additional valve allowing the upper valve to close as the unloading process continues and the well is unloaded to its deepest point of injection. A pressure recorder installed at surface will record a casing pressure drop each time a valve closes. A reading of the recorded pressure as the well unloads will give an indication of the valve operating depth.